Um, so this one says we're going to do a rotation is a transformation that turns a figure around a given point called the center of rotation. And I think for most of these examples, I think there wasn't one that wasn't the origin. Um, I'm not even, I don't want to mispronounce that name. I think it's Sioban rotates, and I apologize if I mispronounce it, but it rotates a right triangle 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. How does the orientation of the image of the triangle compare with the orientation of the pre-image? Well, the orientation is not the same. So you got you got to read this careful. If it were if the question said size and shape, you would say yes, it's the same. But the it it says what about the orientation? Well, the triangle the triangle is turned ninety degrees, and then uh, we'll say um, counterclockwise is like this. I'm just going to draw an arrow because if I say left or right, um, it confuses people. Because some people start at the top and go left this way and some people start at the bottom. So I don't want to do that. Um, and then it says, is the image of the triangle congruent to the pre-image? Now in this case you would say yes. Um, they are the same. Um, draw the image of the figure below given the rotation. So we're going to do 90 degrees counterclockwise. Counterclockwise goes this way in the opposite direction of a clock. E will still be E. F is 1, 2, 3 units away. So it would be 1, 2, 3. This is F prime. E prime is the same as um, E. And then G is three units this way, so this would literally be G prime. And we connect the dots on that. That goes. You guys got to make the sound effects. No. What the heck in the world? All right. Um, this one we got to rotate 180 degrees, kids. So A is here. 180 degrees will go way over here. Um, this, and you can do this too. This is a trick that they teach you in, in high school. I go, the, the point here is two comma three. So now it'd be two comma negative three. That's my a prime. And basically I think, um, it's just the negative when you rotate, whatever the, whatever the number is, it's just the negative of that. So this would be D prime. I'm trying to hurry before the bell rings. D prime. B prime would be uh, 4, negative 1. Negative 4, negative 1. That's B prime. And then C prime is right on the x-axis here at 2. So that's C prime. Then we connect the dots. So we go... What was the sound effect you made? Rawr. <laughs> Uh, there we go. All right, almost done, guys. Last essential question. It says, what are the properties of rotation? Well, we said uh, preserves. What does it preserve? Size. That's a Z. That's an E. And shape. But I'm going to be a little more formal and say, but changes orientation. Okay. And that is basically it. I'm going to post your guys' homework. I do want you to work on it.